the images of 28 African Americans of both local and national prominence now adorn a wall structure and bring brand new vibrancy to the east side community of Buffalo, New York. The Freedom Wall is a collaborative effort between the Albright Knox Art Gallery's Public Art Initiative, the Michigan Street Heritage Corridor, and a committee of various community stakeholders who would spend a number of months selecting figures, past and present, to be showcased, as well as the local artists who would bring the images to life. The Niagara Frontier Transportation Authority provided the extensive concrete wall, which is a part of their facility. Throughout the summer months, the four artists, John Baker, Idris Wajed, Julia Bottoms Douglas, and Chuck Tingley, would not only spend hours painstakingly creating the lifelike images of the various leaders, but they would also, along the way and in their own way, touch the lives of the many residents who would periodically drive by, stop, take pictures, ask questions, and share stories of the many subjects on the mural. At a special community block party officially unveiling the Freedom Wall, the artists reflect on their groundbreaking work. And this project's been amazing overall. Like it's been a great opportunity for the community to get a say in what kind of art you know goes up around us. Um, just in general, though, it's been amazing to be able to represent all these historic figures on the wall, and uh, just to be in a moment as a woman, as a woman of color, who gets to sit here and paint these pictures is just crazy for me. I still haven't really found the words, honestly. I mean, I haven't. It's only was about a week and a half ago that I actually finished. But the journey in doing it, I learned a lot. I learned a lot about myself. Um, I overcame some things as well, some obstacles, some doubts. Because it's a large scale, this is the largest that I've worked, you know, to date. And um, so walking into it, I had some doubts. Um, but I was confident in my ability to push through. And um, so for me personally, it was also growing for me. Um, and also the wall proved the challenge of its own too. Because the texture isn't, isn't smooth, it isn't paper smooth. Um, as you see, it's ridges in it. Um, pretty deep ridges as well, so you had to do a lot of problem solving in order to get that likeness up on the wall. Each artist had their own uh, approach in doing that, you know, but I, I, I'm happy with how mine turned out. It's true to my work, which is all line driven. I can work on this for a whole nother two months and still not be finished, but you get to a certain point and say it's, it's done, because there's always some little something that you see, well, let me add a little bit of this and a little bit of that, but it's, I mean, just to see them all together collectively like this, knowing where we started from, before the primer, it's, it, even, it's amazing to me. With our subjects, each of us got uh, half national, half local, each of us had seven figures. To me, it really meant a lot, especially to do the local figures, because there's so many people here in Buffalo that don't always get the recognition that they deserve, and we have this rich history, so it was really meaningful, especially to do people like Arthur Reeve, who you know, have really contributed to making Buffalo better, and uh, just been on the forefront of civil rights. So. For me, that was amazing. It's almost like a marathon, right? You, people can run marathons alone, but when you have somebody in front or behind you, you kind of can, you know, lend on somebody to push you, or or make you to push it, for, you know, push faster and move forward and continue going. So that's what the other three artists and all four of us together kind of lent to each other was like, peek around the corner, like, dude, we can do this. You got this. Or we would say, you know, well, what do you think about this? We bounce ideas off of each other because in the end, even though. We all individually have our own works. There's a whole piece that reads as a whole. So it had to be teamwork. Nobody could, we couldn't have any egos in this or else it wouldn't have turned out as good as it does. So um, that's what that relationship is about. We formed a relationship with each other as well, not as artists, just as people, parents, some of us. Um, so it was, it was a journey. Like I said, it was a journey in a lot of, it was a school. It was almost like school. In, uh, in, the, in the larger life aspect of things. You know? yeah, I think the project as a whole, as you can see from the kind of turnout we have, was a very, very important project, not only for the gallery, but for the community. You know, we artists got the opportunity to do what we do, and that was great for us, but for the community to have the support that they have now for this particular project, that to me is more important than anything else. Some of the local subjects featured on the Freedom Wall, while extremely moved by their inclusion, are hopeful that this becomes a living museum for generations to come. Art is so important yes, in yes. any community. It inspires people. It gives people hope. And the, and the artists who did this work are just um, such tremendous talents. We, and we have so many others. I mean, we have hundreds of people in our community 
who are so talented, but that message doesn't always get out there. That's true. You know, we get all the negative. You know, so that's why this is such a beautiful event, especially for our young people. Because right down the school, we got a, we got down the street, we have performing arts, performing arts academy. And I know that when the young people pass here, it really, it really must uh, inspire them and uh, teaches them. And I'm glad they put the bios up so they will know. Yes. <laughs> if I were teaching, every one of my students would have an assignment. You must do an essay on the Freedom Wall. <laughs> well, you can do that now. You can oh, do yes. that now. Yeah, Definitely. I can do it. I can do it for the whole city because you know I do essay contests all the time. And tell them no reading the bios. They got to do it no, in their own no, words. No. Uh, no, because I'm going to read the bios and I'm going to know what's on there. So exactly. <laughs> you got to do it uh, yourself. Oh, but okay. yeah, this is a wonderful event. It's so good to see so many people out here. And um, my son said, Ma, you got on the hat. I said, yes, I'm known for these hats. There's mm -hmm. nobody else in the city of Buffalo that has a hat like this. <laughs> <laughs> But I know a change is going to come Oh, yes it will The Freedom Wall is located at the corner of East Ferry and Michigan Street in Buffalo, New York. This is Doug Ruffin for Urban Legacy TV. Mm -hmm.